What's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ B-A-S-E. DJ Bass, because music is the foundation to every hit, unless it's an acapella. And if you tune in to this channel, then you've tuned in to the Beat Break. And in this episode of the Beat Break, we're going to be keeping you in key in FL Studio, okay? We have another video that we have done in the past called How to Stay in Key in FL Studio or Any Other Doll. You can check that video out as well. But this video, we're going to be just focusing on FL Studio, okay? Because I've been watching YouTube for quite a while and we, saw, we have seen plenty of videos on this subject, okay? And I have noticed a certain way people teach you how to stay in key, okay? And it's a little different than the way I teach. I'll show you the way they do it, and then I'll show you the way I suggest you do it. And you can make up your own mind. And with that out the way, we're going to get started, okay? And the plugin we're going to use for this example will be FL Keys. Okay, everyone should have that. And we're going to click on here and go to the piano roll. Okay, and we're going to enlarge it. Okay, and for this first example, we're going to show you how most people show you how to stay in key in FL Studio. We're going to show you their technique. Okay, and usually they'll tell you come up here to the square. Okay. And we'll go to stamp. And you, a lot of you may not know this about FL Studio. So that's why we're giving you both techniques. And if you want to know the natural minor scale, okay, you can just click right here and you'll see the natural minor scale. Okay. And what you would have to do is click on whatever note you would like this scale to be placed on. Let's just go with C. And that will be C natural minor scale, okay? And what we can do is shift and left click and drag. And then we can control and hit the up arrow on our keyboard, okay? And we can do that once again. Okay. let's go and that's it okay all right and this is what people usually do and then they'll highlight all of these stretch them out for however long you want your song to be let's just say two bars okay Okay, it didn't do. Okay, so when you put these stamps in here sometimes, they, they're tricky because you don't have control over them like you have over most uh, notes. You can't move them individually. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that the way it is. Let me see if I can cut those off. Cut those ends off. Okay, I did. It was able to let me do that. Be patient. If you don't have this technique understood, then you'll learn something. Okay. And see what they like to do then is go to the uh, channel rack. Okay. And pretty much mute that track. You can even mute it down here. Okay. And that way it doesn't sound. And then what they would do is go here. And open up another FL keys or whatever instrument. And now when we hit go to piano roll, you can see all the notes, okay? Of that scale, okay? And then what they would do is go ahead and just begin to add notes. You know? Okay, let's turn the volume back up. And you can just add notes. And the 
ghost notes, right? Let's just add random notes. Okay. Okay. We're not going to go into a big uh, progression or anything. But this is what they would do. And you can just write out melodies. Okay. Just click wherever. Okay. 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 And that would be your scale. Okay. And you can just copy that and let it keep going. Okay. Okay, add a little bass note in there on C. And we can go D on this one. Okay, that's just a quick example, okay? You see how you stay in key. Nobody might like your beat, but hey, at least it'll be in key. They can't say it's out of key, okay? Okay, and that just goes on and on. And as you pick other instruments, okay? And go to the piano roll. You can do the same thing. Right. I don't even know what, what what sound we have. Hold up. Let's just pick a sound. And we wasn't gonna make a beat or anything. We're not gonna make a beat. We just gonna let's just use that because we're not really making a beat. We're just giving you an example. Okay. So let's just put that right here. See what it sounds like if we go up. Let's see if we double it up. Octave it up. Okay, let's see if we shorten these half by half. not making a beat as I said but anyway that's how they do that okay and like I said you can do that that way okay and you would have to set this up each time you would go into uh, a project now we're gonna erase this okay I'm going to show you how we do this, okay? All right. In this way that I show you, once you set it up one time, you don't have to do it anymore, okay? Every time you come in FL Studio, it'll be set up, okay? You don't have to do it but once, okay? And first of all, you want to look at this keyboard, the way it looks now. It can't look like this for this to work. First thing you want to do is go up here to this arrow. And you want to go to view. All right. And as you look over here at key labels. You see it's set to root. Okay. And the, it's on the root. Okay. It's labeled. The root is labeled. As you see highlighted notes. It's not able to be selected. Okay. So what you have to do. 
in order to select highlight highlighted notes you got to go to keyboard style first and you will notice it's set to modern or classic or, or dark or list or something like that it has to be set to flat boom for this to work okay and as you see it changed the look of the keyboard now you might not like the way this look because it doesn't look like a regular keyboard but you'll love it if you want to stay in the key okay and so now when we go back to key labels we notice that highlighted notes is now available and we want to click that and watch what happens with the root note as we click that it went away okay so now what we would do is go into helpers and like I said you only have to set this up once okay and you're done and now we have default as you see so now and the default is C okay that's the root it's not able to be clicked at, at this point but it's already default to C okay so now all you would have to do is decide which scale you would like to work in okay let's just say you want to work in the blue scale okay you will click the blue scale boom now you will notice the blue scale is set up in C okay oh, okay with C at the root you can see C the root is highlighted in dark gray okay C to C and all the keys have the names of the note in the scale labeled on them that be so if you're playing the blues scale you would play c let's turn the volume up on this okay. you would play c d sharp f f sharp G, A sharp, back to C, the tonic, okay? And that is your blues scale, okay? And you would play that. Okay? And so, as you see, in the piano roll, the notes are already highlighted for you. All the light areas are where you would place notes as you see the dark areas would be the illegal notes okay so all you would have to do is place notes in the light areas okay that's already highlighted so FL studio has already provided you with ghost notes And so you have the blues scale. Okay, and so you could make a song in the blues scale, okay? You can make chord, make chords, okay? Or whatever. Don't need to guess. And if you want to change that, okay, you just go into helpers scale highlighting and let's go to natural minor scale okay boom c is the tonic okay it's highlighted in gray okay so you're gonna always know what key you're in because it's gonna be highlighted in gray and then from that gray key which would be your tonic the rest of the key uh, notes of that scale will be laid out on the keyboard for you and the notes will also be highlighted or you would already have automatic ghost notes as you can see and begin to just place notes anywhere without thinking it's just automatic okay 
and you're in key no matter what you do. All right? And you can get the right scales, okay? I mean, chords. Like I said, we're not making a beat. We're just showing you. Okay? We can go. No, we're not going to make a beat, but you see, you could just make chords or you can make melodies, you know? We're not trying to make a melody, man. We're just trying to show y'all how to... Okay, and so you don't have to think about it anymore. And with that out the way, man, listen, you've been listening to your boy, DJ B-A-S-E, teaching you how to stay in the key in FL Studio, okay? And before I go, let me just show you. You could just go from C, and you can go to, let's just go to D sharp natural minor and you see the tonic is highlighted dark okay and after that you see the rest of the keys of the scale of d natural minor just begin to write notes in there real simple without even thinking that's illegal you know it because it's on the dark key and that's your scale no need for all of those ghost notes, okay? They're already there for you. And every time you turn off FL Studio, this will still be set. The key you are in will come up. If you want to change key, just change key. You don't have to go through all the steps again. So you have your ghost notes of any key you want already set up for you. Every time you go in FL Studio, okay? And on that note, man, you've been rocking with your boy DJ B A S E, DJ Bass. And if you like this video, if you found it informative, or if you just found it entertaining, like, share, comment, and most definitely subscribe to your boy channel, The Beat Break. And I'll see you next time.